Hey guys, in this video, let's learn about nested dictionary. What is the meaning of nested dictionary and how do you really create it? This is very, very useful. I'm going to teach you with examples. Myself Rakesh and you are into the automate with Rakesh channel. Please do subscribe guys to my channel and do hit on the bell icon to stay up to date as I upload videos on a regular basis. So kindly subscribe to my channel. With that, let's get started and understand the nested dictionary concept. Let's say if I ask you, hey Rakesh, create a variable which is going to store employee details, right? Let's say I'm going to create a variable called employee one. And here I have to store, let's say the ID, ID colon, then you are giving a value, then separated by a comma, then you have to store name, then colon, and you, you are saying Rakesh, then comma, right? And then I want to store the email address. So I will say email colon. And then, um, then I'm going to say Rakesh at the rate, let's say test.com. Okay. So like that, likewise, I'm creating a dictionary and storing the value of employee details. What if you have to store multiple such employee details? For example, if I make it to employee two, okay. And let me quickly change the values to and uh, give it a name. Let's say John and let me change the email to John, right? Uh, ID, let's change it to 101003. One zero zero uh, let's say Rahul and then I'm changing it to Rahul. So now there are three different employees. Now tell me, how would you really keep all these three dictionaries? So each of them are dictionary, each individual items are dictionaries. Now, how do you put each dictionary into a separate dictionary? Tell me. Right. So that is the concept. For example, if I ask you create a variable called employee details and that should have all the employee one, employee two, employee three. So how this can be done? OK, we'll follow the same format of dictionary employee details. Then I will have to use curly braces. So hit on enter because I have to have multiple details. And then the first thing I'm going to copy, you know, I'm going to copy paste these three values inside this and then we will make the formatting. So I've done copy pasting. Now what I will do because in a key, you know, if you are creating a dictionary, the first is a key, right? So here, because this is the parent dictionary. So this is a key. This is a key. This is a key. And this is the value. This is the value. And this is the, uh, this is the value, right? The three values, three keys getting it because this is becoming, becoming the parent dictionary. So let me delete the top one. So what is happening? This is the parent dictionary. And inside that I have got child dictionaries, employee one. So here, what are the keys? This is a key. This is a key. This is a key. So now because keys are strings, first thing what I should do, I should put a, put them in inside a quote, right? Single quote or double quote. So I need to put them into, because these are strings. Again, this, the moment you copy paste inside the parent dictionary, this all become a key. So all this has become a key. Now all this becoming a value. So key and value should, should be always be separated by a colon, not a equal symbol, right? So all I'm doing, I'm replacing all of this to a equal symbol, uh, sorry, colon symbol, removing the equal and putting a colon symbol. And all this value should be separated by a comma, right? Comma, comma, because this, this is the last one, you will leave it as it is. So now what happened? Now what happened? This entire thing, employee one, employee two, employee three, right? Employee three. Okay. Now what happened? The entire thing has become a dictionary, right? With this are the keys and after the colon, these are the values. So how many total keys, total values? Three, three. Okay. This is understood. Now the first thing what one would like to do is they would like to print this newly created nested dictionary in Python. So if I print this, what is the value I'm getting? I'm getting the everything that are coming, right? Now the question here is Rakesh, how about I want to fetch only the employee one? So what is the format I taught you? The format is very simple. You write the parent or the nested dictionary and within the square bracket, you have to write the key. What is the key here? This time employee one, employee two, employee three are the keys. Let's say I want employee one. So again, put it in quote and say employee one. So if you uh, run this now, what details are you getting? ID 101, Rakesh, email address. Only the details of the employee one is coming. Correct? So now here, next question that comes to my mind. Rakesh, how about I would like to only fetch the email address of the employee? 
getting it i would like to only fetch the email address of the employee in a nested dictionary so how do i do that so it's very simple i'll create a variable called x equals to i am saying employee details the variable name right and i i would like to fetch what i would like to fetch employee 1 employee 1 because this is the key name i have provided okay after that what i would like to fetch the email address so what i will do i'll simply say email right email is the one so i will select this tab and this email has to be quoted right so uh, okay let me write it manually email okay this has to be quoted so what would happen now if you try to print x if i try to print x the output will be the email address getting it this is the syntax now if i run it what is the output rakesh test.com similar way any value that i like i can fetch it let's say employee 3 and i need the id number so this is how you can assign these values to a variable and print print them out see 1003 has come okay so this is all about nested dictionary guys and all the methods that do apply to a dictionary does apply to a nested dictionary doesn't matter this is just a dictionary right so everything let's say you, i would like to add a new employee I would like to add a new employee into the existing dictionary. So how, how can I do it? How can I do it? So again, I will take the dictionary name. Okay. And then I'm using a what? I'm using a uh, square bracket. And in that, I would like to add what? Employee 3. So I'll say employee 3. Then what are the values that I would like to add? I will say equals to. Hmm? then these are the values i would like to add getting it so i'll copy this and paste here and i'm going to say 1004 hmm? and then i will change it to let's say ramesh and his email address is ramesh let's say so this is how i'll be adding the moment i add it i would like to print and see if the value is there right so i will say print and then i will print the entire employee details and try to run it now okay so what happened if you go to the right of my screen if i go to the right of my screen you can see employee uh, sorry why did i say employee 3 it should be employee 4 right okay run employee 4 let me run it again so if i do it so you can see employee 4 has been added getting it so the same rules that we have learned for the dictionary in the previous video the same thing would also will apply over here you would like to remove delete everything can be all the methods can be applied to the newly created variable employee details which is a nested dictionary okay let's say you would like to know the type of this you say type and i'm applying it to this one right now let's run it and see see the type class is dictionary dictionary is a dictionary variable only just that it has dictionaries inside the dictionaries getting it guys so with this example it should be pretty clear how to utilize nested dictionaries so thank you very much for watching this guys please do subscribe to my channel guys and please hit on the bell icon and um, you know to stay up to date and to know what are the videos i am uploading on a regular basis please do get notification on those thank you guys take care bye bye